Review lesson 15, we are going to be comparing fractions. So here are the steps for comparing fractions. You have to create common denominators, and then you compare the fraction to see which numerator is greater. Remember, making common denominators makes your unit size the same, so it's very important that you have a common denominator to compare. So first we're going to compare these fractions. Remember the first step was to create a common denominator. If you don't remember that, please watch lesson 14. So remember, first we're going to write the multiple. So 18, um, 18 times 2, 36. Now I'm going to stop there because I think that I can get one over here. So we've got 6, 12, 18, 24. All right? There's the least common multiple. So 1 18th is equal to 1 18th, right? Our denominator didn't change for this fraction. But 2 6 is equal to something 18th. I know that 6 times 3 is 18, so I need to multiply the numerator by 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Now I can compare. My denominator or the size of my units are the same. So now I can see which one's bigger. Well, I know that 1 18th is less than 6 18ths, right? 6 18ths is a lot more than 1 18th because you've got five more 18ths there, right? So that's how we compare them. Let's do another one. So again, we need to find a common denominator first. So we're going to list the multiples for 8, 12, 16, 25, 10, 15, 20, 25. Right there is a common denominator. It's 20. So I now need to set up to make an equivalent fraction. 3 fourths is equal to something 20th, and 1 fifth is equal to something 20th. All right, now let's multiply. So 4 times 5 is 20, so 3 times 5 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20, so 1 times 4 is 4. Now I can compare these. 15 20th compared to 4 20th. Well, I know that 15 is a much bigger number than 4, and my unit sizes are the same. So I can compare because I have 20th and 20th. So 15 20th is more than 4 20th. All right, last one we're going to do together. First, you need to find a common denominator, so start by writing the multiples. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, um, 28, 32, um, 36. Okay, let's do 9, 18, 27, 36. There I see my common denominator. Okay, my common multiple. You make that multiple your new denominator, so 1 fourth is equal to something 36. And 1 ninth is equal to something 36. I multiply 9 times 4 to get 36, so if I multiply the denominator times 4, I need to multiply the numerator times 4. So I have 4 36. 4 times 9 is 36. So 1 times 9 is 9. Now I can compare these because my unit size or my denominator is the same because the size of my parts are the same. So now I can see that 9 36 is greater than 4 36. For homework tonight, I would like you to compare the following fractions that I give you. I would like you to compare 1 fourth and 3 eighths. I would like you to compare 3 sevenths and 2 fourteenths. And I would also like you to compare 4 fifths and 7 eighths. Thank you so much for your hard work and I will see you tomorrow.